Business Growth Center. You're the director. It's up at Springfield Technology Park. Explain what's it all about at this point. Well, thanks for asking, Jim. So the Business Growth Center has been there. Um, we're a revisioned center at this point, uh, formerly known as the Shabelli Enterprise Center in the Springfield Technology Park. We've actually had our doors open since 1999. We've been serving businesses of all sorts and flavors. And the revision Business Growth Center is now a fresh look at how can we actually serve businesses from when they're just starting up through some of our different service providers that are located at the Business Growth Center to actually businesses that are a little bit more mature now and looking to get to that next level and looking to grow. So that really is something that repositions us and revisions us. Okay, so, so many details I want to get into, but you've brought two of the folks who help you Absolutely. make the center work. And let me, let me start... Uh, with Karen Utgoff, Utgoff Consulting. You're based out of Amherst? Am I, I right? am. Okay. But and first of all, they happen to be here with us on a really bad weather day, so thanks for making the trip down after a trip just back from California. I'll say that. But uh, talk to me about now. I know you've got something specific coming up that I don't know Marlo wants to talk about, but you're, you're on an advisory board. You present, and I'm, I'm going to let you talk, I promise. Okay. I really will. Talk to us about what you bring to this business development center well i'm uh i've been a, a, on marla's advisory board for a number of years now and i'm very passionate about the organization i think this is it meets a real need not just in springfield but in the pioneer valley broadly uh for to help businesses grow there are a number of really outstanding organizations uh resident in the building and the business growth center gives me an opportunity to stretch myself a little bit and contribute to the economy of the Pioneer Valley, which is good for my business too. Um, coming up on January 7th, I'm starting a course or a workshop with a colleague of mine will be facilitating uh, the, bus the Stronger Businesses program for uh, up to 10 businesses that are ready to grow. So they've sort of gotten the first little kinks out, or maybe they've been around for a number of years and they wanna make some changes and we are facilitating a program that we think will help them do that, help them focus on what they need to improve in their businesses and also focus on new opportunities. Okay. Marlon, you wanted to add to that and explain a little further what we're talking about because it's so key to what this expanded yeah. mission is, I think. Yeah, and I, I think, you know, and, and Karen's been a great partner for many years, having been affiliated with the Enterprise Center from, I think, pretty much from the beginning mm -hmm. and, and is a wonderful contributing advocate both in terms of working with me and the programming that we do as well as with a number of companies over the years. So uh, she's been a real asset in that sense. And we have a lot of people like that um, in the Valley that like to help out as mentors and advisors. Our, our vision of where we want to go in helping businesses with the programs like the Stronger Businesses program is really to acknowledge that we have we, our valley, our region is dominated by small businesses. And we're dominated by businesses, some of which have actually been in business for a while, but their growth is kind of flat. And you know, some of them are happy that way. They just you know, have a, a good life. But I think in order for us to really begin to have that vibrant valley again, where we have businesses that are contributing back to our civic life you know, in a robust way, we need to help them grow. And we need to help them learn to use the tools and resources that are available to them, be able to access capital in a very constructive way so that they can consider acquiring companies as opposed to being acquired and that we can kind of grow more larger companies and get that vitality back. And the programs like the Stronger Businesses program that we're going to be doing are really aimed at businesses to try to give them those skills, give them time to work on their business because being in business for yourself is a tough task. And um, you know, I'm really happy that Karen's doing it. We're also working with Next Street. We have another program that we're doing at the end of January to focus on helping the local businesses do business with bigs, you know, the, some of the larger companies here. And there's a lot of learning that needs to go on and a lot of support services around to help them, and we want to be part of that. Okay. Colleen Moynihan, you're director of the Business Development Center for New England Business Associates. And i got to be honest, when I saw my list of guests, and I say I've got Marla Michael, who's director of the Business Growth Center at Technology Park, I'm saying, wait, what have I got? Have I got competitors here? Have I got? And that's not how it works. I mean, it's, no, that's, no. it's not at all. Actually, I think I'm, I'm thrilled that I'm kind of the last person to speak because I represent the resources 
that are really in this business growth center. And as one of the many phenomenal resources that are available to businesses in the region, I assist individuals to get their business started if that means a business plan, connect them with maybe services or other resources like maybe they need to have a prototype developed for a product they've invented, or maybe they need to get a loan of some sort, some infusion of capital for whatever reason. These are all the components of growth as Marla and Karen have talked about. So what we have sitting in front of you is a triumvirate of your sorts, where Marla represents the entire entity, Karen represents the strategic thinking and the development of the whole, and I'm one of the components that works within that structure. And we have many phenomenal resources, as well as actual businesses who are starting to grow. So in addition to the New England Business Growth uh, Development Center, we have the SBA, the Small Business De uh, Administration is located there. And the, one of their key programs, SCORE, which is a volunteer organization of the SBA that helps businesses grow. And I had a conversation with them today and they're so excited. They've got a whole new cadre of volunteers that they're seeing, younger, vibrant <laughs> people who are really interested in the economic vibrancy of the Valley. We have the Massachusetts Small Business Development Center, which is affiliated with the Eisenberg School of Business at the University of Massachusetts. And we've added also an, a unique group, which I have not yet really met, and you've got to tell me a little bit about this, a veterans organization that is also dedicated to economic development through employment as well as self-employment. So. So I think one of the things that Colleen's getting at is that we have a really nice mixture of both service providers that are there. So we have a lot of a lot of people walking into the building saying, where do I get some help? And part of what we really want to do in talking with you is to tell your viewers that there are resources and that the Business Growth Center is a good place to start to come. Because many people, whether they're just starting or have been in business, don't know where to go. And that's part of what it is that we're trying to do. But in addition to the service providers, like like Colleen's organization and some of the others, we have a mixture of companies that are both growing on their own and non so for profits and non profits in the building. And so I'm really, really proud of the community that we've created within the building that consists of people that have cubicles because sometimes you're not ready for a suite. So we have cubicles for some of the really early businesses and then suites, you know, and they interact with each other and we work hard to bring in a mixture of companies and organizations that are synergistic. So we have this Veterans Inc. organization that advocates for veterans and works with them to get them on their feet. And though their clients, if it turns out that entrepreneurship is a route that they want to go, can come to NEBA for help. We have other organizations. Leadership Pioneer Valley is located at the Business Growth Center, another nonprofit that's committed to really helping the Valley raise its prominence in terms of leadership and, and con connectivity and addressing regional problems as opposed to just you know, individual. And then we have a bunch of businesses. Um, PSI 91 um, is located in our center, um, Willow Tree Outdoor, um, Patient-Centered Medical Care, Sanita Solutions. So, I mean, it, it's kind of this nice mixture of people that interact with each other and use the services, um, use the MSBDC, use SCORE, use NEBA, come to, you know, it, it just kind of works. So. And there's so much more to talk about, but there's no more time to talk yeah, about it now. Always. But we can have you back and we'll keep track of what's going on. We thank you all for going in. We wish you a continued success. Thank you.